law enforcement authorities are worried if there are uh, organized uh, crime groups which are jeopardizing the public health in the EU. This is a COVID test certificate. The holders negative and fit to fly. Except they might not be, because it's a counterfeit. It's a, a user ID. An investigator an monitoring online forums used by criminal gangs. In some, flight tickets are bought and sold using stolen credit cards. And now they're also dealing in fake COVID test certificates. These niche criminal organisations that have been previously providing um, per, you know, airline tickets using stolen credit card information, they're providing a fuller service. So they're now being able to give you false uh, NHS certificates saying that you're fit to fly, that you have a negative COVID uh, test result. So this is like an underground travel agency? Absolutely, yeah. And these guys have been operating for some time, not uh, located just in the UK. They, they operate on a, on a global basis. Recently, a man was arrested outside Luton Airport on suspicion of selling fake fit-to-fly certificates. It's an issue the authorities right across Europe are worried about. The prices are varying from 40 euros to 300 euros. And they are provided by the organised crime group, but of course there are also some opportunistic uh, individuals who have seen that there is a possibility to get some uh, proceeds uh, by conducting this type of activities. Our investigation found not just fake NHS certificates, but also one sold abroad for people coming back to the UK. These look like they're from clinics in Nigeria, but they're also fakes. But crucially, if they're getting fake fit-to-fly certificates, they may be carrying the virus. There is a very real risk of that, absolutely. If fit to fly is easy to fake, can these certificates really keep Britain safe?